So hello there. So we want today, um, uh, one of the questions that gets asked really a lot is how do I get a clean HDMI output on my, uh, on my GoPro? And just wanted to basically uh, uh, demonstrate that. Now with the GoPro Hero 7, that was the last one that I had built in HDMI, there was a setting in the menu and we'll take this Hero 7 here and I'll plug the in HDMI in. And what you can see is that it first goes into the media mode. Okay. And then you could go in to the menu. Uh, let's see here. First of all, one, two, three. You can see in the top there, it just moved. Uh, that was the mode uh, on off button I pressed and I'm pressing record. So that's not the view we want. So in, in the um, Hero 7, there was a setting um, where you basically go to input output. Let me see if we can get this done. So we'll unplug this again. Yeah. You go to preferences. You go to input output and then HDMI put is set to live. Ah, go. Yeah, I want live. Set. Okay, good. Go out of this again. Okay. And I grab my HDMI cable and I plug this in again. And as you can see, we now have a live view with no overlays. Now, the problem is that when the Hero 8 was launched, and this applies to all Hero cameras after the Hero 8, so the Hero 8, 9, 10, and 11, there is no HDMI port in the camera anymore. So what you need then is you need the media mod. There's a media mod for the Hero 8, um, and then there's different media mod again for the Hero 9, 10, and 11. So they all, they, the last ones have all the same media mod. So what we need to do here is obviously um, to get HDMI in the first place, you need this media mod. And on the back of this media mod, you have micro HDMI, you have USB-C, and you have microphone. So we will be removing the battery door. And then I push my Hero 11 with the battery inwards into the media mod. Okay. And then we'll turn it on. Okay. So that's the, the cameras on. Let's see how we're getting on with this now. Um, that brings us into the media mode again, where it shows us all the media on the camera. Yeah, that's okay. So here, same thing again, I press, in this case, I press the mode button one, two times. You see the camera logo there. And then I press the mode button again, one, two, three, four times, and then record again. And that brings us into clean HDMI. The problem with this is that every single time that you disconnect or reconnect the HDMI cable, you will need to redo this. It's not persistent. So, and the quick workaround for this is we go to, see here, 
go to we go to gopro.com forward slash labs and then you go to get started and down at the bottom here is a list where you uh, find the gopro labs firmware so on this page um in my case i want the hero 11 black firmware so you need to pick whatever firmware that you need for the camera that you have. So I'll click on Hero Black, Hero 11 Black here. And then in the top, you click on Download. Now I have already downloaded my firmware here. This firmware needs to be installed manually. Um, so let me just turn this camera on here again. Okay, and then we have the, the GoPro and take that off. Take the HDMI out. Um, another thing to note is that once you've installed the Labs firmware, if the GoPro uh, app ever asks you to upgrade your firmware, don't. Because what it will do is it will install the normal firmware again, and you don't want that. So I'll take the battery out. And I take my micro SD out. And it goes into a reader, which I then plug into my PC. Great. So what we do now is we open this file here, uh, close that, and we take the entire update folder. So if you go and you have a quick look here. So that's my my Hero 11 micro SD, and I take this update folder and I drag it down onto the card. Wait till it just finishes. Update for your folder is over. Yep. And then um, safely remove the card. So if I go and I say, uh, so I go over here and I take the this and I say eject. And now it's safe to be removed again. Plug the card reader out. Take the card out of the card reader and plug it back into my GoPro. Come on, good. Uh, put the battery back in. Okay. And then we turn the camera on. And as you can see, it has like a gear logo on the back there. So now it's just a matter of waiting. 2,000 years later. Update complete. And then it will turn the uh, camera on. And it said, in my, my case, it said features enabled HDMI is because I had a Labs firmware on there before. And I will tell you that you now on a beta firmware. It's not really beta. It's the production firmware with experimental features. So I'll turn the camera off. And I'll put it back into the media mode. Okay. Now... Turn this back on again. You can see GoPro firmware. That's okay. So next. We'll go back to the GoPro Labs information, right? And what we have here on top of it is we have instructions for using the QR code features can be found here. So you click on that. And that brings you back, it brings you to a page here with the GoPro QR controls for settings. QR code uh, for camera control. There's a little video that explains how, how all of this works. 
um, the basics, advanced QR codes, um, QR code, con QR control customizer. There is also a um, QR control Android app, and I think there's an iOS app that you can use. Here is the um, at the bottom of the page is the advanced QR codes pages. So that's where we want to go, right? Now, what we need to do is we want the, let's see here. Want to go, okay, so where, where I'm going in here is I'm going into all updated dozens more extensions via QR code, right? And on this page, Hero 9, 10, 11, and Bones cameras. And actually, matter of fact is that the Hero 8 also received an update recently enough that it's also supported now there. So what we want is, so here, HDMI 0, 1, or 2. Media mod users can change the output default from gallery 0 to clean monitoring with no overlays or monitoring live video with overlays. What we want is clean monitoring with no overlay. So number one. So what HDMI equals one, right? So I am launching the uh, QR control app on Android in this case. Going on to Extras. We find HDMI and then we say permanent. So as you can see in the bottom there, um, that'll be MHDMI. That's the QR code that we want. Now I'm unplugging the phone again. I see this here. And what I do then is I take the camera and I show the QR code to the camera. And that's all. So now, from now on, um, the camera, every time I turn it on, and I show this now, um, put the camera back now. And as you can see, I have automatically a clean HDMI feed um, with no overlays. Don't have to worry about that anymore. I hope this video was useful and uh, please leave a like down below, maybe subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thanks.